what does it mean to be alive? Like really alive, not just walking around breathing, but truly alive. Hey, it's Relinda. I'm back. I'm a professional artist and today I get to give you a little tour of what it's like to be a winter bee. <laughs> yes, a honey bee. And we're going to talk about four ways that you can make sure you stay alive. So stay tuned and we're going to get to all four. But before I talk about that, let's talk about what's the difference between being alive and sadly dead. The difference is huge. Now I'm not talking about like your physical body dying. Everybody dies and it's super sad. And especially in a year like we've had in the past, so much loss, it's been really, really hard. And we mourn those that leave their bodies. But what I'm talking about are the walking dead and not the TV series, truly walking around field with exhaustion, apathy, fear, and hopelessness. Those are the things that kill us, like truly take away anything that is good in our lives. And that, those are the symptoms of being in the burnout spiral. Now, the good news is being alive is the opposite, but what's the opposite of, of exhaustion and apathy and fear and hopelessness? It is joy, vitality, purpose, and creativity. Those are the four things that you know when you are fully alive, you have those things in your life. You are filled with joy, you're filled with vitality, you are filled with purpose, and you are filled with creativity. That's what makes us alive. Okay, now that's a lot, I get it. And you're probably right now thinking, I'm just exhausted. We just got done with a big holiday season and a big year. 2020 was tough, really tough. How do you go from a year like that, 2020 into 2021? Let me tell you the secret. And the secret lies in the bees. The bees teach us. So this is what's so fun about the Reboot Club. We talk about the honeybee and we look at the lessons that the bees give us in nature and we apply them into our own lives. So let me tell you a little bit about a winter hive. And I am actually standing here next to a winter hive. This is so fascinating. The winter bees are actually very different. Their bodies are completely different than summer bees. Now a winter bee will last and live for four months. A summer bee, about four weeks. Um, but a queen bee, the queen of all the bees, she will last sometimes four and more years, sometimes seven years. Like it's crazy how long a queen can live compared to the worker bees. But a winter bee, they have one job, and that is the survival of the hive. They don't care about anything else, and the way they survive as a family, a bee family, a hive family, is by keeping the queen alive. That's all they care about is keeping the queen alive so that she can then lay eggs for all the spring and summer bees. And if that queen bee dies, that hive family is gone forever. And what's so interesting, there are four rules <laughs> that these bees live by. Because right now, we don't see the bees flying, but they're so alive in there. They have a purpose. They are doing their job. <laughs> um, and what's so fascinating is really they have four things that they have to do during the winter because there's a lot of activity going on within that hive. The very first one is they don't poop in the hive. Imagine that. Like pooping is not allowed <laughs> during the winter. When the hive is all sealed off, nobody poops. They wait until the spring to go out and do their business. So one, no poop in the hive. Two, 
they flap their little wings and that's how they keep the hive warm is they actually make what's called a bee cluster, a bee hug. And they all get in a circle around in a bee ball <laughs> around the queen and they flap their wings, generating all of this heat and um, keeping the hive warm enough so that they can survive the cold winter. So flap their wings. The very next thing that's really important is they have to stay as a team. So what's fascinating is they have the, a honey source in there and as this bee ball moves around, they have to stay as a team in order to find and move in the hive where that honey is. So they have to stay in their team, right? And then the very last one, and this is, I think, the most important, is as they're all flapping their wings and it's cold outside, right? It's winter on the outside. The outside of the ball of bees, they start to get cold. So what their job is, their job is to move to the center near the queen where it's the warmest. And as they um, make their way out again to the edge of the ball and they get cold, they are to move back in to the center to get back into that warmth so that they can keep flapping their wings. Because if, guess what? If they constantly stay on the outside and don't get that support and heat from the rest of their team members, they'll die. And guess what? Each layer will die off until the queen is left alone and then she will die because there won't be heat. So you get that whole idea. Move to the center. So this is my question for you. Do you have a strategy on how to stay alive? Again, alive in your soul, like alive in your mind and in your heart and not just walking around in the walking dead. So let me invite you to something really cool. It's called the Reboot Club. And we gather as a team and support each other because sometimes it gets cold on that outside and we need to move to the center. So here is the really exciting part. What can you do right now? Even though everything else around us in the wintertime feels dormant and still and kind of like sleeping, what can you do right now to make sure that you are alive? Make sure that you are filled with joy, vitality, creativity, and purpose. What can you do right now to be alive? And for sure, don't poop in your house. <laughs> Take that outside and Flap your wings. Keep doing those things that you know are going to keep you alive. Stay with your team. Find those people that can give you support. And above all else, go to where you need to to get that support and help that you need. Move to the center. Get warmed up by your fellow <laughs> flappers. So, sending you tons of love. I'm really excited about the Reboot Club this week. We're gonna be talking about this, about how to stay alive in 2021. All right, see you later.